What up there, game boys and game girls? I'm not in my game chair right now, but this is a new episode of the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, at the end of this video, I'll be announcing my shadow with NBA Viz. Me and him are doing a video together. Go follow him on Instagram. So, yeah. Now, let's talk about this video right now. Uh, last night, you know, I woke up, you know, feeling very t tired, you know. Sat on the couch, I was watching the Brooklyn Nets versus New York Knicks, you know. Fun game, fun game, actually. Then I look at my phone, bro. Look at my phone. I learned that James Harden got traded to Brooklyn. I, I just is instantly mad. And I'm going to talk about the good, bad, ugly. Because y'all know I got to talk about that stuff. So, let's talk about the good. for the um. Well, mostly the Nets because... I don't think any other team has anything good with them yet. I definitely, I'm going to make another video on Houston. It's going to be like a Mike Korzimba video. <laughs> Shout out to Mike Korzimba, though. Um, yeah. It's going to be a definite video on the, how Houston actually won this also. That video is coming. But back to this Harden trade. So, what Houston just got was, I'm going to say it's good. Uh, there are the bad and the ugly, but I'm going to get to that later. But the good starting off with is, is what's in the thumbnail, okay? What I mean by Harden saying finally is that he finally won't have to be a number one or number two player. He was really a number two when CP3 was in Houston, even though Harden had all the stats. He kind of wasn't clutch against the Warriors, which is a big thing. CP3 was. So he's like, I finally don't have to do that no more. And now I finally got away from this bad thing known as Houston. I'm finally going to win now. What does, what does Kyrie mean by another ring? Before Kyrie retired, I'm pretty sure he wants another ring. That's why he won uh, LeBron. He went to Boston. Was a good player in Boston, but the coach didn't support him. The teammates didn't really support him. You're number one. You're supposed to support what he's saying unless it's really in the wrong. I don't think he was really in the wrong of trying to do everything because he was the best player on that team. So letting him go was a big bad decision. Then you got Katie saying that I were in the link again because it's kind of figured out now. Like It's not like Golden State, but you have three players that can shoot all of them three could shoot. I don't know any team who has every player that can shoot. Like, it reminds me of the Boston Celtics, KG, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen. Like, that's how it reminds me of. Like, it's in that weird situation. Like, it's that kind of team right there where you have three players who are all scorers. But I feel like one person in Steve Nass can really know how to coach these players because he knows the situation that they're in and knows how to say, I'm definitely going to feel like James Harden's going to be a spot shooter now. No doubt about it. Not like not like other players. I feel like he's going to be a spot shooter. He's not going to be a head shooter. He's going to be a spot up shooter. Like, that's how I feel with um with, um with James Harden. But KD and Jerome Moore, he's going to be number one, obviously. Or Kyrie's going to be a number two because Kyrie's going to have the ball in his hands. When he gets it to KD, I feel like either KD or Harden's going to be a spot shooter. The difference between Harden and, J Harden and Kyrie Irving is that one's in a different position and smaller than the other one. Kyrie Irving 6'1", James Harden is 6'5". So, I feel like that will totally be the difference in their height situations in general, but they're all the same players that can shoot and all that stuff. So, I feel like in general, I'm going to get to the bad now. The bad is, I'm going to start for Brooklyn, is that really Brooklyn will need to figure out, like I said before, who's going to have the ball in their hands a lot and who's going to take the shots more. I feel like it'll work itself like the um, Boston Celtics trio did. All shooters, but they figure out how to make it work. Now, the bad is for the East and West. Bad is that the East in general, it's a three-way competition now. Between, or a two-way one, I want to call it. Between Milwaukee Bucks, Philadelphia 76ers, and Brooklyn Nets. Like, I hate to say it that way. Like, you have a team with Doc Rivers as your coach. I feel like they can really just get them in there. But, like, I don't know if they're really going to be able to pull out wins. Because... Brooklyn did replace a lot of pieces, but I don't see them going to any semi any finals round. So, yeah. But Brooklyn and Milwaukee are the main ones. Miami could sneak in there and probably surprise a lot of people like they did last year, but I don't know about this year. But, yeah, like I said before, with Brooklyn, and definitely it's between them and Milwaukee, but I feel like Brooklyn is going to win. Milwaukee might get two games out of them, but they will hold them. But trust me, they will hold off Milwaukee because – you have three players who can get clutch when they need to. I don't think Milwaukee has players like Chris Milton, Drew Holiday, and Giannis. 
I feel like Chris Middleton is the only player that's really the clutchest player on that team. I don't know. This is what I've seen every year from him, even when he was a rookie, even when he was not a rookie. It's what he does. I don't know about, per se, Giannis and Drew Holiday. I don't know if they're the clutchest players yet. So, yeah. But th that's where it's really bad for them. No, the ugly is on Lakers and Anthony Davis and every Western Conference. I don't know if any team's going to really be able to compete with them except for the Lakers. But I don't think the Lakers are going to be able to beat them because it's going to take a lot of work for the Lakers to really say, hey, we need to make some more trades. Um, You know, maybe a DeMar DeRozan would help. A Zach Levine. Something like that would definitely help their team even better. Make them, like, the best team in the league. If they really got somebody like that. Or the D'Angelo Russell. I don't know. Like, that's what would really make them good. So, that's all for today. Um, As you said, I said before, I had the Instagram thing right there. That's the, everything. Like, that's how short this video is. But... I have the Instagram link, well, not link in the description, but his Instagram I'm about to show you on the screen to NBA Viz. Me and him are making a video. I don't want to say the player because I know a lot of people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but let's just do it. So, let me show you NBA Viz's account. Uh, I can't show the account, but my editing won't let me, but it's NBA Viz, sorry. But, yeah, shout out to him, but still, like I said before, messed up how the league has turned now because it's a new big three. I mean, we had big twos last year. Let me just got big threes out of nowhere. So, yeah, this is going to be a bad year for every team. <laughs> That's all for the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And also hit that bell to get notifications. I do movie reviews here on my account as Continental 6 and videos with the good, bad, and the ugly. And I'm also bringing back guys comment, like I said before. If you're new to the channel, that's a new thing coming for y'all. So, see you guys next time. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all think of this trade. Will it ruin the league? And should... I would be I shall do next on any other team. Choice is yours.